Hi, this is Luis Souza from rawveganpower.com and we have here today someone very athletic and funny, you know, and adventurous and I'm so proud and, and excited to have here today the Banana Commander from the rawadvantage.com, Chris Kendall. Welcome, Chris. I'm so excited to have you here today. Blessings, Lewis, man. Really stoked to be here for sure. It's a, it's a blessing to be able to share and to reach out to a whole bunch of new people. Awesome. Super stoked. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, I feel so excited because I see all these crazy things that the skaters do, you know, <laughs> and I think it's the first time I'm talking to one of you, you know, you. You, you are so crazy and you do all this stuff, so fantastic, you know, I think it's like uh, flying for me, you know, or something like that, because I never did that. And, uh, and, and I, I was uh, studying your story here and, and I, I, I'm, a, I'm surely a fan of yours, that's, Thank you, that's not out of question, but uh, I don't know how uh, so much about your story you know how did you start being a raw vegan and, and uh, all the improvement that you got from this diet in your athletic performance if you could share that i'd love to hear it perfect that's a great question man and you know it, it all starts kind of with the excitement that you just brought forth about skateboarding and about fun and flying and stuff like that I've just always really followed my passion, you know, and my passion has been to have fun, to push myself to the limit, to to really scare myself at times and see what I can do. And so, I mean, I've been skateboarding since I was five years old, uh, pushed it that pushed it really athletically to the point where I was creating lots of stresses, both physically and mentally, because I was pushing my body to that degree where I was injuring myself all the time. Also then pushing myself to the degree where I was mentally challenging myself all the time. And I wanted to continue growing. And, you know, I, I found yoga and then I found nutrition. And I really needed both because I had been really pounding myself with, A, my lifestyle. I was starting to, by like 17 years old, starting to drink a lot, eat really crappy food. I was smoking cigarettes and marijuana. And uh, I was around like some friends and stuff but we didn't really realize the impacts of our lifestyles so so much and care about ourselves as much as I now recognize I deserve you know so I was going down that road and just feeling worse and worse and more and more depressed and my recovery wasn't what I was looking for you know so I found yoga yoga really pointed towards a vegetarian diet and talked about the impact of diet on how you feel physically mentally and spiritually and I this was new to me it's almost embarrassing to say seriously because I really didn't recognize that what you ate had that big of an impact on you because I used to just come home and eat crappy fried food and ice cream and cheese all the time and just think oh I'm farting a lot but whatever it doesn't matter it's just a pleasure. <laughs> you know? more pleasure more pleasure more pleasure as a gluttonous individual and when I read this book, this one book just really jumped out at me. I remember distinctively coming home when I was 18, like, I got to change something. This yoga is helping, but I got to look at diet. And I found this book called Fit for Life. And it's really cool because um, my biggest influence now has been Harvey and Marilyn Diamond, who wrote Fit for Life, and Dr. Doug Graham, who I, got, I went raw after meeting. And it's cool because both of them were actually mentoring directly under T.C. Fry, who is a, a very large, well-known um, hygienist, you know, earlier in the 19th, so, um, or the 20th, really. But, you know, I really, when I read Fit for Life, my life changed. Like, it, it really just presented um, natural hygiene light. And it talked about food combining, it talked about vegetarianism, it talked about the importance of eating fruit by itself or before other foods for digestion and, uh, you know, exercise. And I really took all that stuff to heart. I'm kind of a bit of an A-type personality that when I get something, when I understand something and I think it makes sense, I run with it, you know. So I really ran with that and made huge changes. And over about a five, six-year period, um, I ended up, vegan and whole food vegan and letting go of all my past 
kind of indiscretions and I was feeling a heck of a lot better but then all of a sudden I met Dr. Doug Graham at a health festival and I knew he had something that everyone else didn't have. I was already in school at that time. I was studying to become a holistic nutritionist and I was like, you know, this guy, I could just see just watching him on stage, the energy, the aura that he had was like profound. It was something I had not seen. I had not been around any real raw foodists and I knew I, I, I wanted to follow him. You know, I wanted to get what he had and the next day I went 100% raw and that was nine years ago now and um, I can tell you just that first week, especially since I've been cleaning my body out and I've been on a path already for years, I just felt like light years different. Like I felt like like my entire body, every cell in my body was just awakened and like a, like a veil had been lifted. I'm not even joking. I know it sounds corny but I like I actually felt like a veil had been lifted and this connection that was between me and everyone else, the acknowledgement of oneness was really opened up to me all at once. I had all these very powerful Satori moments that really let me know that that was my new passion. You know, I, I again, I got into nutrition and athletic performance for my skateboarding, to get better at skateboarding, to recover faster. But when I got into raw food and I'd already been in school for nutrition, all of a sudden I was like, this is what I want to do. This is more important than playing on my skateboard and having fun, which I still love. But, you know, right. spreading this message of health, getting other people to awaken to the realities of how big an impact they have on themselves by the foods they eat as well as the impact they have on other people, other, you know, other ecosystems, animals, you know, just everything in general is really what I want to move forward with. So uh, I just, for the last five years, I have, you know, I guess the last nine years rather, uh, I've been growing in that in that, in that uh, application myself, you know, just looking at all lifestyle aspects of health, not just food, but growing as much as I can and treating myself as I deserve in the best possible way and growing in any way that I can help others along their own path. So the first four or five years I really spent mostly on myself and then I started the rawadvantage.com and uh, nice. started really actively helping other people. I wanted to make sure that I was 100% sound with the diet, with the lifestyle, that uh, I didn't only intellectually believe it, but I lived and breathed it and really understood the ins and outs enough that if somebody had a problem, someone had an issue, I had experience and knowledge to be able to share and help them. And that brings me to here. That brings me to now, man. I've just been, I've been loving it. You know, the last five years I've been steady with the raw advantage. It's been, you know, my full-time job. All I do is put myself out there by donation for, uh, you know, loving service for consultation or I do retreats and I move around, you know, do talks, teach yoga, all that kind of fun stuff. Is that a pretty good stuff? <laughs> you summarize everything and uh, I, 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 I like that. And one thing that uh, impresses me that you said and, and I, I see that most raw vegans uh, share is this experience of uh, almost awakening, right? When we go raw, mm -hmm. it's so uh, incredible, profound. so profound. Yeah, it's so cool. And uh, and you summarized the concept, I think, with the name of your blog as well, the raw advantage, because it's a, it is an advantage, right? How do you feel in, in regards to your athletic performance? Because this is uh, very important, right? When uh, even if you aren't an athlete, athlete yet, people are starting moving and so on, and, and this I think makes a huge difference, right? Oh, for sure. You know, it's, it's amazing because you know when people fall ill, so often. You hear people say, oh, well, they were so healthy, you know, they were so fit. He was like, he'd run, you know, run a mile every morning and he's so fit. And, you know, a lot of times we don't realize that fitness does not always equate top health and top health doesn't always equate top fitness. You know, they're both links in the chain of health and both require attention and both require consistency in order to have high levels of both. You know, so being healthy makes it a heck of a lot easier to be fit that's for sure you know and going on this road living as a raw foodist as a vegan 
It really gives your body and your muscles a chance to repair, to regenerate with a lot less, lot less extra time wasted on anything else. You know, you, you repair faster because you're getting everything that you need without the expenditure to process it. You know, you get everything you need without the toxic load that your body is instead dealing with that instead of healing. You know, so since I've been on this for a long time, it's, it's just now it's just normal. Like I have like very little contrast, you know, but I definitely recognize that I heal faster than most people I know. Um, I can I can go longer than most people I know for my body size and my uh, my body mass. Like pound for pound, I'm stronger than anyone I know. Um, you know, I feel better, more optimistic, optimistic than most people I know, and also it's like. I want to play and I want to do stuff. You know, that's that's the biggest difference as well. Is when you're on a really light, high vibrational diet, you just feel better. You feel optimistic and you want to. I broke it in such a way that usually, um, that usually it would take you know between four to eight months for it to fully heal. It's definitely not fully healed yet, but I went to my family doctor, got new X-rays and stuff. I'm two months from it, and he says it looks more like I'm three plus months from you know where I was. So I mean, it's healing really well. It's gaining a lot of strength, and as a skateboarder and yogi, I'm gonna need that, you know. But um, and you broke it in Hawaii, right? While we were having such a Hawaiian ad adventure, right? It's true, yeah. I mean, if you check out my blog, I got, I got, I always put up my videos. My videos are pretty much like a day in the life every day with extra, like, you know, recipe videos and informative videos, like my vitamin D video recently. But Hawaii was an awesome adventure for sure. You know, I went out there to have fun and to relax. And my first day in Kona, Hawaii, I got on the scene, there's an amazing skate park, amazing surfing, I just went crazy with skateboarding and then all of a sudden broke my wrist and it's like, all right, I guess I'm not going to be skateboarding and surfing this entire month, I guess it's more <laughs> sit down and relax month, you know, so that's what I had and it was, I mean, you can't pick a better place than Hawaii or somewhere like that, Costa Rica, to just relax and go within and, you know, share with other people on different levels, so really blessed even though I had a broken wrist. By the way, one thing that uh, our audience here would love to hear from you is uh, how do you handle your lifestyle, you know, because uh, you are some months in Costa Rica, some time in Canada, and then you are in Hawaii. We don't know where you are going to be next month and so on. And then uh, how do you handle all, all this uh, dream lifestyle because most people dream about this and they never do it but uh, could you yeah. share something about that too well yeah for sure you know I, I, and you can always find it where i'm at from facebook really because anytime anytime i'm anywhere i always like hello costa rica i love you you know and like then i like <laughs> post costa rica all the time and like i am i'm in costa rica usually three or four months a year hawaii the last while it's been one month and uh mexico a month and canada and new york a month so I love to travel. Um, what I find is a lot of people set up reasons why they can't do things. They create a lifestyle that makes it harder to move around and travel. And so, you know, I really recognize and I've known for a long time that I 100% create my own rea reality, that I can choose anything I want, I can do anything I want. And, um, you know, I've just for the longest time lived by that mentality. And, you know, before I was even a raw foodist, when I was just, you know, chilling out and skateboarding, you know, I guess that kind of served that same mentality. I was graduated from high school and I was like, what do I want to do? I'm like, I want to move to the place that has the best skateboarding. I want to hang out with friends and just travel and have fun. So all I ever did as soon as I graduated is I got crappy jobs that paid a lot that I could work for a short period of time and then just run around and have fun. You know, maybe take a year off, maybe to take two years off and just skateboard and maybe get a little job at a grocery store at a skate shop and work part time but most of the time run around so I've learned how to be fairly nomadic because of that I've learned to be very uh, thrifty I'll say 
because of that, you know, I make sure that I'm not just like spending stuff all the time. Um, in fact, beyond my own clothing, like my piece of love shirt, I, I literally have probably spent about two, three hundred dollars on clothing in the last two or three years. Um, really? I'm, yeah, I'm a very thrifty person. Uh, I've been very lucky with sponsors. I've you know been sponsored for skateboarding and shoes and clothing for a long time. Uh, I'm not right now, but I had for such a long time. I haven't spent a lot of money on clothing. Um, but you know now, on the path that I'm on right now, it's like, you know, I knew I wanted to continue that. I wanted to run around. I wanted to have fun. And you know, a lot of people t tell me like, oh, you should start a restaurant or oh, you should start this. And in my mind, I'm like. No, you know, the lifestyle I want to live is a free lifestyle where I can travel, I can help people on the spot, in person, um, at a moment's notice if I need to leave, I can go. And so what did I do? I, I started my website, you know, I started online services, I I created an online shop, you know, and made, it, made, it, uh, made my business in such a way that I can really do it remotely from anywhere as long as I have an internet connection. You know, and because I live in such a way again that that I I have a low overhead, you know, I I live by service. You know, when I'm in Costa Rica, I volunteer my time at a healing retreat center, so I'm not paying rent there. You know, I, I pay for my own food. Um, when I'm at home, which is between one to three four months a year, you know, I pay for my food, but otherwise I'm just you know in gratitude to be with my family, and they're happy that I'm around since I'm away so much. Um, and otherwise, I do live in live in coaching. I haven't done it for a while, but I you know I do live in coaching where I'll stay with people and I'll help them transform their life. But then the catch is that you know they they donate to me for the service and then also they pay for my travel and accommodation and food. So again, I have a really low overhead. So even though I'm you know I'm working by service and my uh, the amount of money that I'm making for my services and from my shop. It's increasing. You know, I could rent an apartment and live in it now since I've been building my business for five years. I still have a low overhead, and I'm I'm slowly building uh, building through my conscious creation. So it's just again looking at what do I want, you know, and how can I get there, and then just applying it, and growing with it, and being being uh, consistent and confident that whatever I want, the lifestyle I want to lead, I can create if I just do what I need to do right now to do it. Right. And, uh, and by the way, you are, uh, I, I think you are uh, an artist as well, right? Because uh, do, do you do, do you create your own stuff? Because it seems so. Do well, you create you know, I, your... I, I, I would say I'm an artist. You know, it's funny, one of my absolute biggest influences is Bruce Lee. I love Bruce Lee. He's an amazing individual. He has a book called Artist of Life, which is incredible. Um, and I, I would consider myself along those lines. You know, I, I love art and I love uh, the creative process in all ways. Um, a lot of the graphics, a lot of the stuff from my website, from my shirts, I have created or had a big part in. I also do work with closely graphic designers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, for example, my my don't have a cow go bananas T-shirts and stickers and stuff like that. I, I created that as my first logo. Um, I'm really proud of that one. I, I, I absolutely love it. And the other one um, that we were talking about, which is really, you know, fits with with what we got going on here. That's uh, right. My raw vegan power one here. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, I got it on the back of my book here. 101 frickin' raw some recipes, but um, yeah, the raw vegan power. Oh, thing. it's there. So cool. Yeah, that one. Uh, my graphic designer, she created that. Um, my website, a lot of the stuff, I mean, realistically, my friend helped me by putting up one page and then the rest of it I put up myself. Um, and, you know, my YouTube stuff, all my graphics, I, I draw up most of that stuff. Uh, the, the Banana Commander, my graphic designer, did. Um, yeah, it is kind of a little bit Actually, of Actually, I'm going to share here. I will, oh, cool, can keep, cool. You can keep... Uh, Speaking and I can show this I, I, this uh, sign here. It's so cool, man. <laughs> the banana <crossbow. laughs> and it's so simple. You you just changed the bones to the bananas, right? It's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love so it. So creative. My gra my cre uh, my graphic designer created that one, and I was like, yeah, Kat Kendera, she's amazing. She 
came up with a lot of stuff, and I feel so incredibly blessed to have her on my team. She, uh, you know, a few some of the graphics. She just all of a sudden was like, "Hey, check this out. What do you think?" You know, and like, yeah, the, the, the skull and crossbones with the fruit hat up on the yeah. side there. <laughs> Rod Vantage, Banana, and then the, the Banana Commander graphic. She made all that, and it was literally just like she showed it to me. I was like, perfect. You know, like that's so awesome. So. And it is awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doped. And, you know, this, this graphic right here is a little bit closer to what my new shop's going to look like or, or my new website. I'm actually in the midst of updating my entire website. So that last one you just saw with the orange, that's what I've had for the last, like, four or five years. And, I uh, mean this one, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit more these kind of color tones. Obviously different from this, but it's. Uh, I'm really excited to be updating my shop here pretty soon. And what are you carrying here in this uh, this fruit here? It's, is it a durian or what? Yeah, that's a durian. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, the first time I, I came to your, your blog here, I saw that and I thought it was a basketball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I look at it again, and oh no, it's a fruit, and and then yeah. now, now I know it's durian. It's a durian, and I've had a lot of friends make fun of me and say that it looks like I'm abusing it, sexually abusing the durian. Or something. <laughs> That's cool. That would not be a good thing. Those things are sharp, but. Um, I, yeah, durian's amazing, and that's basically why I put it there, is because I think it's a, a delicious, delicious kind of pr primal tropical food. So. By the but way, I, I have another question here for you about your creations, and I, and I know this is one of yours. And the question would be, uh, do rock girls really taste better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, um, they do. I mean, in general, right? If, if you treat yourself well, if you're eating foods sure. that are you know, really high vibratory, that have very little kind of excess toxema to them, you know, that are low in salt or have no salt, that don't have preservatives, and you know, I mean, animal flesh, it, you know, it produces urea in your system, produces a whole bunch of toxic byproducts that you notice it. You notice it under your armpits. You're going to notice it anywhere else. You know, so That's yeah. Right. Raw girls are sweet, you know, it's, it's <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful thing, smells and you, good. And you have you know, a t-shirt. All, this... all girls are sweet to a degree, I love them all, but yeah, if you really get a little bit nitpicky, if you want to smell and taste a little nicer, sweet juicy fruits for the win, that's it, you know. <laughs> okay, well, and you are going through now a special promotion, right? Uh, do you want to yeah. share that with us? I, I can show you, I can show here the banner of the promotion. It's in the, on That's your awesome. video and here. I, I really appreciate that huge because, you know, like I said, I've been, I've been building this business for almost five years now. It is my entire livelihood and, uh, you know, I've poured my heart and soul into it. And I've been building a mailing list that whole time. And recently I switched web hosts and, uh, in the middle of doing that, I didn't recognize that my mailing list provider was intimately attached to my web host because it was on a different website, it was on a different thing. And when I switched my web host, all of a sudden my entire mailing list disappeared. I had luckily saved 800 emails, which is a drop in the bucket for what I've grown in the last five years. And um, you know, I, so I'm able to still reach out to the, the core people that signed up in the first, you know, first year maybe. And um, so to help build that list, I've appealed to a bunch of my friends, people in the movement, um, people outside of it, skateboarders that have a website or have stuff like that, just because I want to spread my message and start fresh with you know reaching new people and everyone who has signed up before. I'm really appealing to everyone that if you've signed up before, I'm putting these new bonuses on there so that you can get something new. You know, so um, not only do you get the uh, super sweet treats, which is a pretty new ebook I put out there. It's got like 28 awesome, awesome recipes that help makes it really easy to eat high carb, low fat raw food, um, and feel like you're eating desserts whenever you want, which are just delicious. You know, like puddings and grapes and pancakes. You know, but sure. Um, so I got that, and I also got 10 sure shot ways to drastically improve your health. I look at it as like a, a coffee table book you can give to anyone in any walk of life that will really help them just improve their diet their lifestyle, and it's all about lifestyle, it's what I'm about, holistic lifestyle. Um, as well as the new bonus is an excerpt from my new book, TRA Retreat Treats, so it's uh, 
basically some of the favorites for my Cravings Buster series I'm going to be coming out with. It's kind of bridging the gap between raw food gourmet and simple A11 style raw food. So it has Mediterranean night um, for raw food recipes in there. So that's, I'm really proud of that. I think it's going to be amazing. A lot of people will enjoy it. And then, of course, also I have a 20% off shop discount for my store, um, which I don't usually do. I think I put a discount on on my birthday before, but really this is a two-week discount, 20% off everything except for my package deals because I already have those really low. But, um, heah, you can get that just at, at therawadvantage.com um, under my join button or otherwise at the Raw Advantage. Uh, get dash your dash free dash ebooks dash here. You know, so, but I'm sure we can put up a link somewhere. Okay, you are going to have a link there, right? Or yeah. do, you, do you already okay. have it? Yeah, I have the I have the link already. Um, you if you guide me, I can show. If you go to the join button right beside info. You're right by it. Uh, uh, here. Over. Uh, to join, uh, yeah, along the top bar though. Join, join, great. Uh, oh, is that there? Yeah. I can. Or otherwise, it's along the top bar. Join my mailing list. Is it this right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two URLs for it. So yeah, there we go, right there. So this is the place you should go. You who are watching, and you get uh, two. 20% of discounting every everything, right, uh, Chris? Everything except for my my package deals because those already have a large discount to them. So okay, um, that's so cool to know. You have so much fantastic stuff here that uh, that's fun, man. I got like I mean, I have, t I have like ten different T-shirts. I got hats. I got I even got panties for the girls or guys if they want to. And I got you know kitchen tools and books and. I have a lot of stuff going on on there out there, so okay. okay. I don't do the sales too often. Okay, uh, we are going to promote this too. And uh, Chris, now I have a huge question for you. Yeah. But the, the answer should be small. Okay. <laughs> it's a. One sentence re answer, okay? Yeah. Can I fire? The, can Can I shoot it? There's, there's no anticipation. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, comparing the person who you were before mm -hmm. being a raw vegan, yeah, and the person you are now, you know, since you are a raw vegan. Mm -hmm. What would be your raw vegan power? Mm. Conscious you know, compassion. One sentence. Com conscious compassion and connection between myself and others. Great. It's uh, one sentence. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Well, uh, we have to talk about other stuff, I mean, because I really want to help you build your list again. But by now, I think we, we've done this interview. Would you like to say something else to our audience here, Chris? For sure. You know, I mean, Raw Vegan Power, I love the name, you know, obvious, obvious connection between us, you know, and the different, uh, um, you know, or not rather, rather the similar kind of flow we're on, and I feel blessed to reach out and to share with everyone. You know, and raw vegan power to me, while of course it means raw food and you know veganism, and that you can sure. get such strength and inner power from that. I also believe that it really has to do with being raw with yourself, because this diet it does it brings up everything, it brings up your emotions, it brings up change, it brings up you know everything around you. You know, so it's like delving into that that truth, into that rawness of life itself and bringing it out, being authentic, being real and um, and growing with that because, you know, the more real and the more fully into that uh, that rawness we are, the more we're growing and the more we have to share. So it's a blessing, uh, you know, it's great change, it can be difficult but it's all well worth it. It's all, it's all there for us just to breathe through and move forward with and you know, just, I'm just thankful again to be here with you, Lewis, and 
excited. Thank you so much, Chris. It was a pleasure to have you here today. A huge pleasure. And I, I was waiting for so long, and now I, I really met you, and it was a blast. Thank you so much. And you, you who are watching, go now to therawadvantage.com and take a look at all the great stuff that Chris Kendall has to offer you. Especially during the next two weeks, because you will get 20% off in almost all of these products. Thank you so much, Chris. Bye-bye. See you later. Again.